Monday morning began the hearing where defense and prosecutors argued the constitutionality of the death penalty in the case of Patricia Batts. Why are we here? Why hasn't Patricia pled like the rest of her family? Because the state is trying to kill her even though she herself didn't kill anyone. She herself didn't intend to kill anyone. She herself didn't attempt to kill anyone. And Montana's legislature has said that we continue to have a death penalty as a possibility for those worst of the worst murderers in the state of Montana. Patricia Batts' defense counsel back and forth approached the podium to argue to the court and to Judge John C. Brown why Batts should not be prosecuted under the death penalty. The role that she played in, in the taking of Alex's life. Failing to seek medical assistance after that severe beating that was inflicted on him when he's moaning and groaning, lying next to the defendant, those are facts the jury needs to hear about. The seven motions defense filed addressed different legal theories that would make it unconstitutional to put bats up for the death penalty, such as the sentencing scheme and who actually killed Alex Hurley. Defense says, Less than 24 hours before Alex Alex's death, Alex is seen to be disoriented and slurring his words. J.S. the third, I'll use his initials, had severely beaten Alex. Culpability on her part? I haven't heard about it yet. I haven't. In Montana, is the act of killing someone the only avenue to seek the death penalty? No. According to Montana Code 4618303, aggravating circumstances include deliberate homicide, including by means of torture and aggravated kidnapping that resulted in the death of the victim. The defense also argued the unique dignity clause in her Montana state constitution. Any treatment that degrades or demeans a person against cruel and unusual punishment, when the two are read together, it gives even greater protection under the Constitution. The right of dignity and Article 2, Section 17, which says you cannot take life. The question on judge sentencing and jury sentencing was raised and discussed at length. Our law, our Montana Constitution, promised in 72, it promised Montana citizens all the rights that they had in the, in the 89, 1889 Constitution, including jury, sentencing, and capital cases. Uh, that their unique views will be involved in this case. However, the single government official, and that's a quote from the defendant's brief, you will and should the ultimate arbiter of whether or not to impose a death sentence. In Bozeman, Jane McDonald, MTN News.